Good morning, folks. Mobile Observatory Project is heading to Indianapolis today. During the live event a couple days ago, we were asked for a Faraday cage demo, and trust me, you don't want to see me try to build anything. We'll leave that to Billy. Link to his video is below. Helio Viewer is still down, so we're using ISWA to see a filament destabilization in progress as the news uploads. By the time you get to any of the resources, it will be complete, so go get one step ahead of this video. As the quake index drops into C range, we see a lack of any larger quakes, 4.9 in Aruba being the most unusual yesterday when we mostly stay in 2 to 3 magnitude range in the Caribbean. If you don't use the RSOE EDIS alert map, a link to this will be provided below. Right now we're zooming in to check out the results of last night's severe storm watch in the Midwest, power outages, severe lightning, hail, and reports of tornado touchdowns. Coming into the Atlantic, where we eye the tropical formation zone that is building slowly, only a 30% chance of formation today or tomorrow, but a 70% likelihood of formation overall. Meanwhile, the three systems still dance in the East Pacific. Genevieve about done, while Hernan, closer to the Mexican coastline, is dumping a good bit of rain off to the east. They are very aware a storm is offshore. The West Pacific is getting active now as well, with two lows churning here and two typhoon watches posted. We'll certainly be watching going forward. It's clear that the main convergence here draws down to the west coast of New Zealand. Precipitable water overlay is no exception here, showing that line. That same overlay shows almost all of Europe at rain risk, and that's not far off as the eastern system is spreading and growing while the clouds surge southward from Scotland, England, and down onto Germany and France. In the United States and Canada, we have our primary low to the east, so strong it dominates the flow all the way down to Texas and New Mexico. The convergence line spreads like a smile across the states. We'll have watches along that line and, of course, back up at the low itself. Solar flaring, still low and indicative of impending grand minimum. The shock is that it holds even with sunspot numbers increasing. Center disk has a good deal of beta polarity, perhaps gamma at best, but it's unable to produce much. Meanwhile, the incoming active regions show what I believe is clearly a delta spot in the back of that mangled elder sunspot region, making his second pass around our star. Now, while they sit silently, this image from days ago shows the coronal hole responsible for the current speedier stream of particles. Still weaker than we'd expect at solar max, but we still have the density rise and then a drop as speed and plasma temperature rise. The low energy protons were in significant fluctuation. Electron flux took a hit as well. Thus far, the weaker than expected stream has not produced a geomagnetic storm or even any instability. The culprits exit on the right while the next quake watch ramp and coronal hole can be seen entering on the left. It is that green positive opening swinging in here and also heralds the exit of negative influence on near Earth space. We're back into positive. Folks, a link to the Sun series playlist is below. You will understand all of this stuff within an hour. I guarantee it. Eyes open. No fear. It's 625 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.